had it written about me that I'm the correct idiot. And most often I've had it written that my books are best sellers, which they're just a collection of funny uh, stories of things that really happened to me in high school and in junior high. The second one is Be More Chill. Be More Chill is my first novel. It's the story of a kid in high school who gets a uh, chill in his brain that makes him cool. And uh, so as he's walking around, the chill is called a squip. And I'll, I'll put that on the board just so you guys know it. Squip, yeah. Before we get started, I just want to know, does anyone here like doing any writing above and beyond what they make you do in school? Yeah? All right, now put your hands up high. That's important. You're preserving Weston's thought. Yay! All right, good job, guys. Excellent. So we're going to start off, I'm going to read a little bit from Teen Angst, and uh, basically we'll have some fun with this. You know what I might want to read about? I didn't do this with the last group, but it might be time for me to, to read a little bit about old Nintendo. How many people here have the original Nintendo at all? Yeah? Alright, very cool. <laughs> Yesterday, on a strange sudden urge, I hooked up my old Nintendo. This is not the Super NES. This is not the this was the original spawn of the 80s from Japan with love. 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System. It has been lying in a closet for years. It was dusty and really tough to get working. But when I plugged it in and hit the power button, I was back on the day we bought it. We went on a Saturday morning after Christmas. My parents always waited for the January sales. Around 8 a.m., Dad loaded my six-year-old brother and Daniel and me, Daniel and me, into our things out without killing each other. This was a, a policy that we had for a while, like. This was before uh, SUVs and uh, a little bit before minivans. Everyone else has sedans, but our family had this humongous van. It looked like a church van. And when we had, when my sister came along, we got an even bigger van with three seats so that we could eat. We drove to a Toys R Us, which was silent and frigid as a hospital. We headed to the electronics aisle, pulled the Nintendo off the shelf, paid the pimply cashier $100, which is exactly what we would have paid in Manhattan and we drove back to Brooklyn. We triumphantly stomped through the front front door, shaking snow off our boots. My mom was in the kitchen, sat on the floor, and tore off all the packaging. My brother helped. Nora tried to help her, and pushed her away, which almost accidentally, like if we were on the couch and you sat there, she would have a total fit, and you would have to go and stand in the corner mm -hmm. while she counted to 30, and that was called going to jail. So um, it was really a difficult, a difficult, house to live in because you always have to look where you sat. God forbid you would sit on Rosie and end up in prison. <laughs> Daniel watched, and then he started crying when prompted a visit from Mom. What's this machine for? To make you cry? No, Mom, I moaned. Daniel shrieked, Mom, Ned won't let me play. He won't even let me get one game. My goodness, Jim. We had a very high decibel household. You know, like some people like in your house, does anyone here ever have a family, anyone else have a family where like no one can walk into a room and talk to you, they all can yell down the hallway? Yeah, that's like, no one, like, you know, that someone would, the idea that someone would walk into a room and address you in my family is out of the question. Go on, just gape at that screen and be happy. So I did, for the next five years. He's right. You know, nobody wins at television. If you waste your life watching it, you'll end up on a nursing home couch, glued to Montel, wondering, what's it all worth? But if you waste your life playing video games, you can stand up at the end and yell, yes! 500,000 points in Tetris. Video games give you purpose. And the 500,000 points in Tetris thing was, um, you guys know, there is, uh, has anyone seen the magazine Nintendo Power? They still publish that at all? You guys know? You think so? Uh, Nintendo Power was like a very early version of EGM and all the rest of it. It was only for Nintendo games, this magazine. And they published high scores every month, right? So if you got a really high score in a video game, you would take a picture. This is a little bit before digital cameras. You were supposed to take a picture of the screen like a Polaroid and send it in. And they would look at your picture and go, oh, wow, this is a bad <laughs> <laughs>